It is a Dr. Wilcox Thursday. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. Uh, you're already on a roll. He walks in the door He's on a on roll. On a roll. Mm, yeah. yeah. So I gave you all some chestnuts from my American chestnut tree that suffered from the 65-mile-an-hour wind burst the last week. Poor thing. I love that tree. Oh, you did? Mm. That was the tree that everyone in the family is supposed to keep away from. <laughs> you know, just let it be. It's my tree. <laughs> but, and, it, and now so it's split. Plant, plant those seeds and grow some American chestnuts. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Beautiful trees. All right. Um, talking about eyes, brain, dementia today, and um, and things I've talked about in the past. I remember you a few times saying, I can't believe the eyes part of the brain. It is. I've, I've grown accustomed to that uh, now. Okay, yeah. so it's, it's the, when the brain is developing, these little buds pop out. Very important buds because 40-ish percent of the brain is allocated to vision. And these buds pop out, and they're your sensory organs called your eyes. And half of the cranial nerves, of the 12 cranial nerves, are directly or indirectly allocated to the eyes. So... An eye doctor, a doctor of the eyes, be they an optometrist or an ophthalmologist, and your family doctor should know that what you see in the eyes is going on in the brain. And what's going on in the brain is going on in the eyes. So I have a paper here, a couple papers. This one was the British Medical Journal, British Journal of Ophthalmology, um, just September of 21. And the title is Association of Ophthalmic and Systemic Conditions with Incidence of Dementia. And uh, they had they had 12,364 patients. They okay. followed them from 2006 to 2021 with 1,263,513 person years. Big study. And they found that that Macular degeneration, cataracts, and diabetes are uh, uh, significantly related to dementia. And when we look in the eyes and we see these things and we counsel people what you could and should do, if you got it, you got a problem. And what you want to do is not get it. And you need to do things in your life to avoid these diseases. And so when people come in with, you know, if you have a 0 to 100% of a problem, People with 2% of a problem, one, they're hard to find, and two, they're not motivated to do something because it's inconvenient because it takes, it takes you know, time and money and inconvenience. But everyone, everyone should act as though you're going to have these problems so you don't get them because once you get them, there's this linking. And um, so diabetes, microvascular disease, most diabetes is self-inflicted. And it's the the American diet. diet. It's yeah. the American diet. And yes. so I've said it before. I'll say it again. No one has ever come to my office, sat in a chair and said, I'm glad I'm half blind. <laughs> and it's not. And it's, you know, and it's not funny because because it's not funny. Yeah, I've, I've um, and so I I counsel people. I'm never preaching. I'm teaching. Heck, I've got notes coming in every day this week from the 13th International conference on one carbon metabolism and homocysteine and b vitamins that's going on in poland and it's the world leaders on these things the krebs cycle the things that make your mitochondria work and i'm getting summary notes and i'm actually dispersing them to a number of like 13 14 doctors and nurses and pharmacists because it's important because some people like to go fly fishing and build birdhouses and this is my a vocation and my vocation and it's interesting because people need to know. And sadly, you know, I, you, get, you get tired of seeing the, the ignorance. And ignorance isn't mean. It's just a lack of knowledge. I'm ignorant on how to fix my HVAC machine, okay? So it's not a mean word. But oftentimes, just like the HVAC, mm -hmm. the knowledge is presented in a way that is over the average person's head. Right, so I'm bringing it down to... You're definitely bringing it down. Bringing it yeah. down to... You need to act as if you have, instead of 1% of a disease, 90% of the disease. You know, one, once that fire truck pulls up to the house fire and they say, oh, let her burn because she's out of control. I mean, that's what happens when things get too far along. And it all comes down to some simple things. 
and now there's many things. I'm like, I can't, you know, there, you, you got to sleep, you got to breathe, you got to, you got to exercise. And, uh, um, but these B vitamins, good B vitamins, if you, you, you can't take like B, B9 is, of, you don't, it's, you want to take methylated folates and not folic acid. I got papers and papers that show that folic acid is bad for you. And it's in most of your supplements. And there's a cascade of negative things that happens when you use folic acid. B12 is cobalamin. You should be taking methylated cobalamin and not cyanide, cyanocobalamin. Be- how, how, how do I know the difference? Because there's a word on the side that says cyanocobalamin versus methyl- methylcobalamin. And, and, and so what happens is, and it goes on and on from there as to what you should take. So I, I preach about this ocufolin. And I don't care where you get the component parts. Go get them somewhere. But good luck finding them well put together in this, this tapestry, this cascade, this, this, this medical food. But when you get to understand each one of the players in the orchestra, you know, it's, 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 it's the successful rock band. It's, it's the one that everyone wants to see if they, if they really understand good music, how these, these players work together. I have in the studio here a uh, framed uh, four pictures, actually a series of pictures of bloody retinas that are swollen. So it's from retinal vein occlusions and macular edema. So somebody, Could those people still see? Y- yes. All of these people, yes. And this is the, this is the deal. There's, there's times when you've got to go, you know, um, send them off to the retinologist to go get needles in their eyes. And then there's times when people put needles in the eyes and they could have waited and done something else. But you have to know the difference between the two. Okay. So as long as your vision is 20, 40 or better, even though those pictures of these, these swollen, bloody retinas... Are, are, are there in, 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 in listening audience there's four series of pictures of bad looking eyes turning into really good healthy yeah, looking eyes yeah. and all they did uh, each one of these cases they just took this ocufolin and I'm, I, I, I'm it's just because you can go look up ocufolin o-c-u-f-o-l-i-n dot com and you can see the component parts so go get it or go get something like it and uh, or understand how this simple supplements on steroids, you know, really strong uh, component parts to each one of them, um, healed all these eyes. And it's, and it's, you show it to eye doctors and their jaw hits the ground. And it's like, well, yeah, you can do these things. Um, and so back to... Well, what are the components of Akifolin? Oh, um, the, it's a list of, of 14 things. But it has, you know, the, the A-Reds vitamins people take for macular degeneration, A-Reds too. It has that in there almost completely. And it has things from the, the Bs. It has N-acetylcysteine and uh, D and, and a number of components. But l- l- we won't go through that stuff list. Stuff that we can find? Yeah, but you have to go find the right stuff, you know? If, you know, if you're gonna, you, there's so many errors and, and the formulations, because it's cheaper. You know, how do you feed a million people as cheaply as you can? And um, um, so instead of wasting the time going through that, O-C-U-F-O-L-I-N, and I'll, I'll read, and there's a paper that just came out this week. This, okay. this paper, in the second paper, the effects of ocufolin on retinal microvasculature in patients with mild non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. So... The world of, of eye care and medical care, we know or knew that you can't bring the retina back with these diabetics. You can't improve the density of the microvasculature in the retina. But that's not true because you can because these studies show. And there's a study with a small cohort of people, and then there's a bigger one going on at Baskin Palmer. And so we've been preaching this because... The people in the know have been doing this and studying this stuff and now proving it. And it requires that you, if you're going to, you got to fertilize your garden with the right stuff. Right. And, and, and so if it's going to help the person who's sick, then the person who's healthy should do these things so they don't get sick. And, um, and it's like this COVID stuff, you know, <laughs> yes, anybody can get sick and die, but most people who do have these comorbidities and the list goes on. And so if no one was sick in this country, then we wouldn't have a problem, right? Because 
it would just take out you know the, a thin uh, uh, group of people. But but so my interest as an eye doctor is to be good at what I do and counsel people about how do you avoid a problem and if you have a problem how do you do what best things that I know of that you can do to unwind the problem and and uh, <laughs> you have to work on your STDs it's stop take and do you got to stop stuff take stuff and do stuff and people large there's a great group of people who will do S- stop takes and do's well, there, and, there's also a lot of people out there that avoid taking stuff well with taking what medicines anything no, they no, just no, don't no, like no, taking but, but there's stuff. a difference between look look they're the forgotten nutrient I'm not being silly. I put a plastic bag over your head. You lose this thing called oxygen and you die. Oxygen is needed for the biochemistry set that's going on in your body. And if you, if you, if you have no water, H2O, you die. And if you're low on B1, B2, B3, and, and this, that, and magnesium and zinc and all these other players... You slowly die. You don't have the right components to build and repair your body. We go through apoptosis. Our cells die, and they get hauled off. And they're supposed to die. They're supposed to get hauled off. Right. And if it goes on, if, you don't, if, they don't, if they die too quickly, and you don't haul them off quickly enough, stuff happens. And so go through these stresses in your life. You know, uh, go, a sauna. You get in a hot sauna, you jump in a cold body of water, you get in a hot sauna. Those stresses are great. Go look it up. They're great for you. So you exercise. You know, if you go walking, you're not supposed to just walk for three miles. You're supposed to actually walk fast for 20 seconds, slow down for 20 seconds, walk fast for 20 seconds. We need stress in our life. Our, we evolved on this rock under stressful situations. And we have it so good. We, we food on every corner, air conditioning, um, the power ceiling. You know, we, we, we don't have any predators. I had a gal in um, talking about the, uh, the, berry, the, 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 sn- the snorkeling. All of our reefs are dying. And the reefs die when the sharks are gone. And, and what happens is, if you don't have that, that uh, principal predator, they pick off the weak fish who um, are, are dying, and, uh, and then you have these spear fishermen who will go get all the parrot fish, and the parrot fish pick off all the, the algae off the, of the reef, and you start losing some of these big players, and then it affects all the little players. And our body is kind of like the coral reef. I mean, you can have a million analogies of what it takes, and it takes... It takes stress. It takes maintenance. It takes fertilizing your garden. You've got to weed the garden. You know, you've got to get rid of the bad stuff. So, um, back to this dementia stuff, it, you look in the eyes, if you have diabetic retinopathy, if you have macular degeneration, if you have cataracts, the incidence, studies, prove it, you know, what did I say, how many million human years, you, you suffer brain disease called dementia. It's all linked. And so, don't get the stuff, and if you have the stuff, you got to do stuff. And some, it's just simple. It's not a, you don't have to go get a prescription, and, 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 and if it's not covered by insurance, yeah, I can write a, a prescription for glaucoma medicines all day long, and people will quickly go out to the pharmacy and go get that medicine and be loyal to it. But if I tell them to take some vitamins and minerals, they go, oh, <laughs> oh. It's like, really? So, you, so, oh, it's not covered by my insurance, yet they got a pack of cigarettes. Or, you know, you can make a choice. Yeah, you, can, yeah. you can find 50 bucks a month to do something or whatever it is. And um, so... Um, so how many vitamins do you take a day? I actually, I, I take, I do things seasonally. I think that, like, I, I'll take, I, I don't want to have people run out and do things. I, again, I'm preaching, I'm teaching, I'm not preaching. Correct. But I, I, I do take this Occuform on a daily basis because it covers a lot of bases. Is there but, is there one caplet? No, there's three in order to get what you need to get in there. But then, okay. but then I take fulvic and humic acid. I take iodine. I'll take I take mushrooms every day. Lion's mane and turkey tail almost every day because lion's mane is a mushroom that is neuroregenerative. I take good EPA DHA fish oils because the fish oils help with your nerve regeneration, the myelin, the, the insulation around your nerves. It's good eat ratios of, of a good fish oil helps with your nerves. And, what is um, turkey and, tail? 
Turkey tail is, is a, a mushroom you've seen it everywhere. You, oh, okay. It's on logs in the woods, and, uh, and you can go if you know what you're doing. Please don't go out and go, grab a mushroom. <laughs> you know they say every mushroom is edible, but some are edible once. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, but but uh, it's it's fun foraging, going out in the woods with your dog if you know what you're doing. But um, but no, I purchase these things online from reputable sources, and um, and because I know what their what the key ingredients are, and it helps your immune system. So if you help your immune system, and when the virus comes in your body, your immune system fights it off, and you don't have a problem. And uh, so so there's a plethora of things. And you change by season. Well, what I what I what I know is your formula. body's pretty smart, and uh, it ain't a politician. Its body's pretty smart. Yeah. And, uh, and it stores stuff, and it retrieves it. It hides it over here. It says, hey, I need some of this today, and I'm, I'm low on this, and it moves it around. And um, so as an eye doctor, the eye is brain. The, when the brain's sick, the eye's sick. Um, good counseling. And, and I take pictures of the eyes all day long. We're just know, recommending yeah. people get pictures of the eyes. Because when I, if I look in the back of your eye, one, you cannot see as well looking in the back of the eyes, boom, blowing up a big picture and put on the screen. And it's, and it's inspiring for everybody to go look at. And I pat them on the back. Oh, that's a beautiful picture I can put on the wall. Or see this over here and see that over there. I mean, on a routine basis, you know, you'll see atherosclerotic disease. And you know that that person had a lifetime of eating fried food. And I say it, and they go, "Yeah, I used to." Well, you know, the the, the Southern diet, and um, and and so when they have that, uh, here's the paper: you're gonna have dementia because you have poor microcirculation and so on and so forth. Well, I've got to interrupt you. I yes, just sir. want to remind everybody, as I always do, that Dr. Wilcox is located down at the point. He is an eye doctor. If you just need glasses, Dr. Wilcox does that. If you need contacts, he does that. And he is a teacher, uh, also gives you the opportunity to, to look at different aspects if you are fine. If you're just going in for glasses, you're good. One thing I can say, and you pointed out one time when you were talking about a watch, is uh, I've never been in your office when I felt rushed. No. And yeah, I think that's a, a very high compliment. But we got to go. Hey, that was quick. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, I, now, can you buy a bottle of Occufola? Uh, I, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm teaching. The answer is yes. Okay. And, uh, but the, and, and so, yes. So selfishly, yes. But my, my interest is at our office, we have it. At Williamsburg Drug, they have this stuff. And um, it's a medical food. It's not a supplement. You can't get it, you know, in the ha- in the hallway at Rite Aid or it's not Walmart. a prescription. It's not a prescription. So it's it occupies this special place as a medical food, and so it has more of this than than you can get without somebody um, okaying it. Um, so um, people need to go get educated, you know, and and spend a little bit of time of their twenty four hours in the day. And saying I'm going to invest, you know, five minutes, ten minutes at a time, just learning some things. And uh, if you go to their website, you can break things down. And I'm always happy to see you, look at your eyes, and um, and, and counsel you and help you out.